All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, I, I complain too much. I always talk about, oh, the watch madness, the watch addiction, the torment. You know what, man? It's fun. It's fun to be a little bit watch mad. You know, I was talking to Carlos yesterday about the watch madness. We were laughing. I mean, it, we, we couldn't stop laughing. We were just talking about some of the madness. I mean, it's kind of funny. The madness is kind of funny. So, what do we have here? More madness. That's what we have, buddy. Okay, this is a beautiful watch. This is uh, the Seiko Slim Turtle. And uh, Carlos and I were talking about uh, Seikoholics. And we have a theory. Or anyways, I brought this theory up with Carlos. He agreed with me. Seikoholics don't even like 98% of all the Seikos that are out there. But all of us, we obsess over the 2%. And this is one of the 2%, I believe. You, you uh, put in the comment section if you agree or disagree. This is the uh, Slim Turtle SPB317. And it's 41 millimeters uh, case. Very thin. It's the thinnest turtle. Very retro. Cool retro vibe. I saw Mark of the Average Brothers with it on a, uh, a Tropic. And the Tropic, I think, gives it some more magic. In fact, I ordered a an anthracite gray tropic after seeing his and uh, even uh, uh, ordered an orange one which I'll talk about in a second what the orange one is for but uh, gorgeous uh, case design uh, very comfortable now I have a seven and three quarter inch wrist and this strap is not that long I can only put it on the second notch so uh, the second notch only I really like that side well you can't see it very well so, uh, you know, and, and I've had it for, uh, since yesterday, and I actually liked it more this morning when I looked at it in the morning, but, but I have to be honest with you, I'm sending it to Carlos, and uh, I think he's going to want it more than I am, and why, why am I sending it to Carlos? I mean, I, it's very comfortable. This is a classy, retro, timeless watch. I should keep it, and I'll, t I mean, the only reason why I'm not going to keep it is because of this. And I talked about this with Carlos yesterday. It competes too much with the Willard. Okay, that's great focus, McMahon. Ooh, the focus. Okay, so the Willard. And I want you to be able to see that pudgy. Uh, so the Willard is a brother to the Slim Turtle. And I don't think these two brothers are going to be able to live together. The Slim Turtle is polite. It's well-mannered. And then the Willard, this is pugnacious, this is rambunctious, it, it's just got more, uh, it's just more uh, spicy, and, 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 and they're going to compete, and, and we were laughing about this on the phone yesterday, I, I don't think I can have the two brothers uh, coexisting, I can't have pugnacious Willard with polite Slim Turtle, I mean some of you go, that's perfect, you got your polite, and you got the pugnacious, you got the yin and the yang. I don't know, I can't do it. And uh, so I'm, I'm sending it to Carlos. We'll figure it out. Now I got that gray uh, tropic coming. What are you going to do with the gray tropic, McMahon? Are you going to put it in a box and never see it again? Well, those are, those are awesome. I, I'm going to probably find some use for it. So I told you uh, earlier that I uh, also got a uh, orange tropic coming. What's the orange for? Well, let me tell you what the orange one is for. So, this is the uh, beautiful uh, SPB 147, a gorgeous, a gorgeous espresso dial with caramel custard indices. Comes on a uh, a black rubber strap, the same exact strap on the Slim Turtle. And when I bought it from Carlos on the stock uh, black strap, there was a magic to this watch. And then I was thinking, well, I'm going to put it on a on a bracelet, just because I like bracelets. So I, I got the strap code bracelet, not a bad match. And uh, I've been wearing it. But then I, I talked to Carlos about this, and I said, uh, hey, I think there was more magic on the strap. He goes, oh, yeah, same with me. I had it on the strap, and I put it on my SPB143 uh, stock Seiko bracelet, which is even a more perfect match. And, yeah, the magic is gone. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put this uh, very warm color uh, espresso dial on an orange uh, Tropic. I think it's going to give it some pop. And uh, now I'm going to have that gray one. I guess I could alternate them. You know, doing uh, strap changes is not that 
not that big a deal. It's not the same as doing bracelet changes. So I guess I, I'm going to have to swap this up. It's uh, pure madness. So what's your next move, McMahon? I don't know. I don't know what my next move is, but uh, next time I make a video, I'm going to show you this uh, beautiful Espresso uh, 147 on a uh, orange tropic. That'll be quite something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, embrace the madness. Tell me what you think. Bye-bye.